Are you making it back there, Mark? Break time. <laughs> we'll get her. Due to the smoking and aging process, distilling scotch takes weeks longer than running traditional moonshine. This scotch recipe, it's handcrafted. Uh, it's handed down from our Scottish ancestors. It's a unique liquor. You know, it's going to take us longer to mash in because there's so many more different steps to it. Uh, we got a sprouter corn, then we got a smoker corn, then we got to have mash to work off, then we got to have, you know, a spot for our steel. But when we get it aged and ready to go, we can get up to $80 a quart for it. We can run the less liquor and make more money. Yeah, this is the furnace. That's your fire box. Put your pot down in it, you build your fire in this long part there, and then the heat comes out and it circles all the way around the pot. I like to taste scotch off the wood a lot better. I don't know how it does it, but it makes it taste different. Today, most shiners use propane burners to heat their stills, but Mark always opts for good old-fashioned wood to get the job done. Yeah, ever since I was a boy, I worked with my uncles around the steel, and uh, they always used wood. There wasn't no such thing back in them days as gas. Now the work begins. <sighs> this is the top of the furnace. Keeps the heat from going out of it. That's the cap. That's where all our vapors are going to accumulate. When it gets it full, it'll go to pushing it out this. Well, we've got a goal, you know, to make $100,000 this year. The scotch, it takes a lot more time. So we're going to take the time to build us a camp that we can run 24 hours a day. So, you know, we're going to try to make it as comfy as we can, just like we is at home. 